In this presentation, we're just going to have a quick look over the theory behind... Uh, essentially, what we're going to do is look at the multiplication of binary numbers. And the technique we're going to look at is left shifting. And it's just to sort of explain how this technique works before we use it in some of our examples. Just to start off, actually, I'm going to use this number here, uh, 5. Just uh, 5 in, decimal, uh, in our normal decimal system. It's 101. Uh, is how we would write it in binary. Okay, so I'll just sort of just make a quick note of that. The subscripts there are just to sort of uh, help you uh, uh, indicate which is decimal and which is binary. Now, so far so good. Uh, what we're going to do actually is first off talk about uh, doubling a binary number. And when you, it's actually a very very simple operation. Multiply a number by two in binary arithmetic is actually quite easy. All you have to do is add a zero at the end okay so for argument's sake what we're going to do here is we are going to multiply 5 by 2 that's decimal and so there we have uh, 5 there it's 101 so to uh, multiply uh, five, to multipl uh, multiply 5 in 101 uh, just add a zero to the end. That's all you have to do. Twenty. So just add a zero to the end. Uh, multiply ten by two, or one zero one zero by two, and you just get there one zero one zero zero. Okay. So in decimal, that is twenty. In binary, we would write that as one zero one zero zero. Okay. Suppose we were asking, looking for 80, okay, and 80 can be written as 5 by 6, 6 being something we have already, and that is equal to 5 by 2 times 4. Essentially all we have to do to write out eight, find, uh, write 80 in decimal, or binary numbers, is first off 101, and then we are going to add in four zeros because it's two to the power of four. One, two, three, four. So there we are. And uh, okay, so just add four zeros. Okay, uh, it's to um, one zero one. Uh, that's multiply five by two to the power of four. Okay. Now uh, it's, that's a very simple idea. Again. To double a binary number, simply uh, put a uh, uh, put a a zero at the end. Okay, let's just make that clear. S put a simply put a zero at the end. Okay. Now, next thing, multiplying the number by x that is seven times x. Okay, but essentially what we could do is break that up. We can write that as four times x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x okay or multiplying a number by 13 that is 13x is equal to 8x plus 4x plus 1x okay so uh, suppose we were going to multiply 101 by 7 okay that would be equal to so uh let's actually sorry five by seven and that's decimal and that is equal to uh five uh times four plus five times two plus five times one or if we were to write that in that's decimal there. In binary, that is, I'll just write this in black, 101 and multiplying by 4 is two zeros, zero, zero, plus 5 by 2 is 101 and multiplying by 2, just adding a zero to the end, and 5 by 1 is just 5, so that's 101. Okay, so essentially what happens here is we break it up into a addition problem. Okay, uh, you can do something similar to but uh, for thirteen as well, but we don't really have to now. So this is how we might sort of set it up in uh, just a straightforward uh, number, uh, straightforward uh, 
arithmetic system. So I'm going to write se I'm going to order this as seven times. Uh, no, I'll keep it at five times seven. So five times seven, that is equal to one zero one, and seven is one one one. Okay. So this is a sort of a very easy technique for remembering how to how to uh, construct a multiplication. So if you recall with the first instance this here is the 4, this is the 2 and this represents the 1. So what we're going to do here is for the 1 we're just going to I, I write out the number there 1, 0, 1. For the next one we write out the number again but this time we will put in this little 0 here and then we write out the number 1, 0, 1. Okay. For the 4 there we would have two zeros okay and then write the number one uh, zero one okay after that we just add everything up together okay so one zero zero this is just a straightforward uh, arithmetic operate uh, uh, binary addition operation there we go that should equal 35 okay so the key thing here is just bring in this left shifting. This is where we call it why we call it left shifting. We just shift all the numbers there to the left and put zeros here in at the right hand side. And for every st for every stage we added an extra zero. Now, just say for argument's sake we were multiplying 5 by 5, okay? And that is 101 by 101, okay? So let's just set up the left shifting here first off. So uh, I'm going to put in, I'm not going to put in a zero here, but in the next row I'm going to put in a zero, and the next row after that I'm going to put in two zeros. Now, starting here, we have a one here, so what we're going to do in the top row is just write in one, zero, one. Straightforward enough. Here we have a zero, so rather than write in the number, all we're just going to do is write in some zeros there. We're just going to leave it, okay? And finally we have an, a one here, so we write in the numbers again, one, zero, one, okay? So this is the left shifting part, okay? And just to be, be, recall, because we had a zero in the middle, we just put zeros there. This is a zero here, okay? And beyond that, all we have to do is do some binary addition. So 1, 0, 0 carry the 1, 1, 1. There we go. So that's just a general uh, introduction to left shifting binary addition uh, multiplication.